we all equal, that's it's nonsense. It's marvelous that we all have difference. Next please, in this film. Another one, say, individual rules for lifestyle, yes, lifestyle. I say, today, I say, we have a lot of nutrition, we have exercise, and we have also stress coping. Stress coping, marvelous, important. To cope with stress, we must learn it, you know. And I'm here also, it's to fly from Cologne to here, and I'm very anxious for flying. I fly to fly in the, in the airplane. I've, you know, during the war, I have been life, buried life, by a bomb, our house was bombed and I was buried alive in the cellar room and couldn't get out and after two days they digged me out. So I am very anxious to be in an airplane, but nevertheless, I have learned a cook with stress and I come here, I don't know whether, probably maybe by ship I will go back, but nevertheless, I've got it, I've got it here. So, this was stress coping, you must learn this stress coping. You know, most people uh, who are married know what stress coping means, you know. <laughs> the partner, more or less, is in, you know, you can forget it. You know. This is stress coping. So, personal experience, information, genetic outfit is important. General rules for surviving is uh, for uh, keeping life alive. Next. So, we go on. Now, so this is the thing, well, I promised to change my lifestyle. This is me, because, <laughs> but this is, you know, we, in danger, we promise everything. The danger is over, you know, we have forgotten what we have promised. Next, next slide. So, human being, no human being is like the other. You know, they have a responder tail type, stress responder, stress non-responder, there's also genetically, we'll come back to genetics, uh, there are stress responders, stress non-responders, we have also receptor types. Well, I'll show it later to you. Uh, the Duffy blood group in malaria. You know, if you have people who do not have the Duffy blood group, they won't get malaria. And the metabolic type, also we have exercise genes, adipositas genes, we have also a metabolic type. We have also an inflammatory type, type. we have one which creates with more inflammation, less anti-inflammatory response, like the other type. It's very exciting that I've, I've got this, um, I work also in, in, in the, with the Cologne uh, has, uh, University of Sports Medicine. We work closely together, uh, even in rehabilitation medicine, and we found that from the marathoners who died uh, during a marathon, or at the end of a marathon by a coronary, or a disease or by myocardial infarction, they had atherosclerosis. So we, we said, why can it happen that someone who trains and trains and did all the best for his health can suddenly fall down and be dead? York Marathon also to have died, uh, the, 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 one, the last one. <laughs> so uh, why does it come? So uh, I have developed the theory that they, uh, he had also an inflammation. Some uh, people, uh, when they do more than the usual exercise, which is healthy, when they do exercise with the goal of a personal, um, you know, record or personal ex extraordinary uh, thing like a uh, marathon, they react by training, intensive training, they react with an inflammatory response. And so they can get, indeed, by this training, uh, the opposite, they do not get healthy, they, they become ill. They become ill because they are the spawner type, the inflammatory response. You can monitor it very nice with serum markers and so on. Very exciting. That's the reason why sometimes in sport people fell down and are uh, they also do, especially doing marathons and doing the marathons in the big cities because uh, there is all sorts of big excitement, stress. Hormones are still acting and so on. So this, this is so I can tell ages about stories about it. But, but then there is a drop dark responder. It's also we know that here from the yolks. It is also independent dependent on genes and other proteins. So you also how to react to certain drugs is different. We know that between certain races, drugs act different. You know, it's here in the, in the colored population, they react different to uh, anti-hypertonic 
uh, reagents and the right people and so on. It's very interesting to have this one. Nevertheless, next one, because uh, this was, uh, you know, um, the, and I, I show you the picture because most of the people, they talk about stress. So I don't know when stress has been, uh, the term has been created. The term stress has been created in 1955 when this man, uh, uh, Dr. Salia, has uh, written a book about the stress of life. So uh, before 50, uh, 1955, and I met him personally. He, he was a, in a congress in Cologne and I had, I had to show him Cologne. I was a young student and I must show, you know, the big people show them Cologne and he wanted to climb up to the cathedral and then Celia said to me, oh no, I don't want, you know, it's too much stress. It's the first time I had the word about stress. But he was, was a uh, very famous man. He invented stress, which has now become a word. Every, uh, we all know. Next, please. And how I show you the experiments, uh, which is uh, this is stress responders, stress resistant. And you know, this that switch from sympathicals, uh, it's over, uh, it has uh, the dominant uh, compared with parasympathicals, parasympathicals dominant to sympathicals. So, you see, this is uh, stress non responders are more or less uh, healthy, but. Uh, the stress responders, the stress sensitive people, they can develop pre illness, have a pre aging phenomenon, and so on. So, you can convert the stress responder to a stress non responder by ex to exercise, caloric restriction, individualized lifestyle, you must be there about it, and food program, and so on. I won't touch the endorphins, you know, crystallizing out of my urine. <laughs> fantastic. So, next, please. So here we are, so she can't stand hospital food, you know, out to lunch, so she's going to Peter Dam for better one, you know. This is for Peter yes. Yes. Now, next please, uh, you know, don't think too much of food now, think about brain food now. Uh, so defense, recognition also uh, is important for the defense. Uh, you need for the defense of the brain uh, to, to see your, anim your, your enemies and so on. The sense and the recognition, you have the sense organs, but on the other side for recognition you have the immune cells, this means all of course, uh, the immune cells and this immune system. So uh, these both things are important defense, to defend that friend or foe and so on. Next please. And um, the, the most important thing, which, which really, uh, this is an old slide for me, but I have uh, turned it out into PowerPoint because it, I got it from uh, Professor Edelman from New York, the Rockefeller University, who was a good friend of mine, my age also. And uh, so he, he was the one who said, uh, which we in Cologne also said, but unpublished, unfortunately, in German, we said, well, the brain, the brain, our brain first, developed from one single recognition molecule. One, we have one molecule of recognition is a function.